Hi guys, welcome back to Trembos Entertainment. So, Zizi Mills has posted a video, Headscarf Diaries. I'm about to play it for you, but before I do that, I'm just going to give you some context in case you're not um, clued up. So, Jessie Nelson, ex Little Mix star, did um, her first solo song featuring Nicki Minaj, Bad Boys, which was um, a PDD sample as well. And a lot of people outrage the fact they say that she's black fishing she's trying to look racially ambiguous or black or like a mixed race girl basically um with how she's dressing with her swagger with her um hair makeup super tan skin um all of that throughout the video so if you've seen the video do let me know your thoughts um but Zizi Moore is not here for it and she is calling her out for black fishing for being racially ambiguous um for having that privilege so have a listen and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below so i just thought i'd do a little headscarf diaries because i just put a tweet out just a minute like about an hour ago about uh jesse nelson and Nicki minaj's new song about the fact that jesse looks basically the same complexion as Nicki, and also that is a conversation to be had about you know Nikki's skin appearing to be lighter her skin appearing to be darker and it brings me to this topic that I always is so near and dear to my heart colorism and the fact of the matter is anybody that tries to tell me that colorism is not a thing okay the fact now that we have white women understanding the power of looking racially ambiguous at this current climate how we are right now in, in in society tells you everything we have white women trying their best to appear racially ambiguous i don't even want to call it black fishing anymore because i genuinely don't think they're trying to appear black i genuinely think they're trying to be racially ambiguous meaning you don't know where the fuck they come from. They could come from anywhere in the world because, you know, their skin is a little bit tanned. You know, they've got some hair, uh, big curly hair or whatever they've got going on. And it just, it, it reinforces everything that black women or I've been saying that the lighter shade you are, the more um, privilege you have especially within this within the entertainment industry and the fact now that like i keep saying we have a white woman or white women we see a lot nowadays you can go on all of the fast fashion sites you know we have there's loads of girls on there that are racially ambiguous but the fact of the matter is anyone that does not believe that colorism or the privilege of your skin or or the fact that your skin is lighter brings you more privilege sometimes please just look at this video okay please look at what we're seeing we're seeing white women literally doing everything in their power to appear racially ambiguous why would they do that if it doesn't benefit them so when black women have been screaming from the rooftop colorism 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 the darker your skin is the harder it is etc etc understand there are white women now trying to appear racially ambiguous because they understand the benefit of appearing like that and that's all i have to say stop gaslighting us black women we know the fuck what we're talking about thank you for coming to my ted talk